What's up guys, it's David here from Habakuki and today I am playing a very early version of a game called Basement. It's by Halfbus and this is a game that had a successful Kickstarter way back in November. Um, basically this is the closed uh, access version. It's pre-alpha, it is extremely early on and I want to get that point across now because I'm basically going to record this video and uh, in, uh, contact the guys half bus and say can I show this video so I want to really make sure I point out that this is a, a pre-alpha version it's a very unfinished version and uh, it's completely up to them if, if they want more people to see it um, I'm going to do a video anyway first impressions I haven't touched the game at all um, I don't know what is after this screen um, other than some form of login because the game is login uh, credentials to get into the game um, but yeah there's a this message that comes up that you can see as well um, it thanks you for supporting basement and Kickstarter um, and it, it says that it's a prototype 106 uh, backers have access to this including myself um, that is a very small number um, so they want us to impact the game development process and it's saying that I can't play it more than five to ten minutes. I don't know if this is a time thing. It's just going to cut us off. I don't know if that time is started now, so I'll, I'll try and hurry that up a bit. Um, and this said there, it doesn't show the quality of the final game, and they'll improve and involve it according to the feedback. Um, so yeah, the green bit attention. This version shows only the main direction of game design and intended um, to people who want to participate in the development and testing process. Um, it says if you want to just play, we highly recommend uh, postponing your acquaintance with Basement until a beta version comes out. So like I said, I'm going to record this video, a first impressions video, with the acknowledgement that it is extremely early version. Uh, contact the guys, see if it's fine to release. I'm sorry for rambling on, but I really wanted to make it clear that this is a pre-alpha version. So let's get started. Oh, so it's got this here. A login thing. Let me just pop my details in and I will more than likely block this out because it has details on and apparently has a console which I just accidentally opened up. Okay let's get started. It's worth noting as well. Oh we're in straight in. Okay so basement from what I understand from the Kickstarter is a micromanagement type game um, it's literally started straight in so you've got your little room here which is like your front for your business and I should have probably explained it's about making drugs so I've got money I've got the time I've got the day is that a padlock not out of three a light bulb four out of ten and something here I've got an ice cream van can't click that I've got a guy down here he's a doctor okay got rooms that I can presumably buy um, oh so I can control him so you can go back over there I don't know what you're doing generator storage more rooms I don't know what he's doing oh dope kitchen so he's he's making dope basically um, so what's this buy truck Okay. So that's some form of distribution channel. So he, oh, he was making dope to go to that ice cream van, and that ice cream van's going away to deliver it. Presumably, that's going to get me money. Uh, what's this? Oh wow! So yeah, this. So he's just doing roots and stuff there. Uh, what's this one? Oh, so that's personnel. Maybe that is the same icon as that. So I've not out of three. Um, so this is for hiring people. So let us just hire a guy. And oh, here he comes. Uh, what's this one do? Build rooms. Dope kitchen, dope shop. Generator, dorm. 
and storage. So I noticed that the dome actually healed this guy when I, uh, the doctor, when I dragged him in. This guy is presumably coming to work for us. Yeah. Uh, but I only have one dope kitchen, so. Let's see if I can upgrade this room. And for the meantime, let's. Is this the room thing? Why did I just do that? Ah, so that was placing the room down. So you have to expand these rooms. Um, and then build rooms into it. So he's filling up that. I get this guy to go here. And he's going to jump in that room when that's done. So that's the basic premise. You have to build up an empire of many drugs. Um, so I'll move him here. And this is the, all this information I've picked up from the Kickstarter and the updates that came with it. So I think we should build... A dorm is for healing people, right? Let's double check that. So... Uh, standby generator provides electricity. Ah, oh, so that's the light bulb, sorry. Electricity. The dorm it provides slots for your personnel and heals people and storage. Yeah, so I need more storage. So what I'm going to do is add more storage. And then I'm also going to build another room. And hire someone else. This guy, and he's going to work in this room, um, which I don't have enough money for, so I'll have to wait for that. Is it too early to buy? Yeah. Oh, so now I'm basically playing the waiting game. So yeah, that's the basic premise, but the Kickstarter highlighted several possibilities for doing other things, um, for... Uh, that you have to bribe police and uh, people will try and break in steal stuff it's basically if you watch Breaking Bad anything that happens in Breaking Bad could probably happen in this game I think that's a fair assumption to make um, not to put the game down as being some form of copycat um, it, it looks like it's a really interesting game um, but you see I've got 725 now so I'm going to build nothing because I need another 25 I've hired this guy though, so he's going to get ready to go. And it's a very nice looking game, I like the style. Um, so let's just wait, oh I've got enough money. Build a room, I can probably build a dope kitchen, can I place that? So I think this is the bug it mentioned. It's just placed a building thing up here, but I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's building either. I have no visual thing, but that's okay. It's pre-alpha, so don't place a two-block room into a single block. That's what I've learned today. I'm just waiting to see if it'll build now. Oh, wait, there's the line. Let's see what happens when that builds. And I can remove rooms, so I should be able to remove it easily enough. But I will need to build a second generator. Soon. How much a generator? It's a thousand, so I'll have to hang on for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's pre-alpha pre and they are always looking for feedback, so I'd imagine this game is going to evolve quite nicely. Yes, yeah, so it hasn't held the room properly here. Um, And it won't let us click the room either. What happens if I get this guy to walk? Nothing. Okay, so that's broken, but that is not that much of a big deal. I was expecting bugs, and I got them. I'm going to build another generator. And I am going to build another room. And 
what am I going to put in that generator? Did I build a second generator? Not yet. Why did I? I'm sure I built. Do I need the thousand? Possible. So that's just, uh, I'll, I'll obviously report that. I'm pretty sure that that's the point of this, to report bugs and get back. So we've found one already, so we're doing the game of failure. Don't build a single room, uh, a double room in a single slot. But at least the dope's coming along nicely. And they're building more there. So the flow of it is these guys are making it, it's going in the storage room, the ice cream truck's coming along, picking it up and delivering it. Um, and it makes sense to have storage because you can build it even when the ice cream truck's not there. So that's cool. Um, just waiting for the ice cream truck to come back now and I can afford a generator. So let's place that there. And who's this guy? Who's this chap? What's he want? Open up, I want to check this venue. So I can fight him or I could bribe him. Now I don't have enough money to bribe him. So that's not working. So it looks like I'm going to have to fight him. Now, if he stands in the health room, he should heal, right? Yeah. Well done, Doctor. You can go back there. Got the second generator up. And let's start building out. I think I'm going to put another dope shop when I can afford it. 750. Put another one here. And then hire another guy for that. And then maybe get a second truck if I'm producing enough. That'll be good. Uh, 240. And I've got a consumption as well, presumably. Um, um, facilities, electricity. Oh, and he has another cop. But I've got enough money to bribe him this time. Uh, I'll bribe him. That was easy. So now I just need 750 to build another room start building some money up. So it looks like Dope is the only thing unlocked in this. Um, oh, this is like a bouncer or something? Maybe? That's interesting. Oh, and there's a... not a, There is a scroll thing. Oh, didn't know that. So... I do not have enough money yet. But where's that guy going? That's not what I want to click. So it looks like some that looks like maybe a police badge. So that's gonna be all that kind of thing. Um what's this do? Sell price? Oh, how much it has in? I like not I don't want to mess with that. So it looks like I can add the route to make more money, but if he's making enough money off one route, I'm not gonna waste my time with that. And I should just have about have enough for that room. 750. Ah, oh, except my consumption got in the way. So I've just gotta wait for this uh, ice cream truck to come back, basically. I could have started again to get rid of that, but we'll we'll carry on with it. Yeah, you can see in the bottom corner as well, version 0.0.1. .0 so, for being pre-alpha, this is the only, having one bug is pretty amazing. Um, so let's look for that silver lining. I'm just waiting for my ice cream truck to come back. It appears to not be. Where is my ice cream truck? And why is it not coming back? Okay, I might have found a second bug. Does that mean it's gonna work now? Oh yeah, I, I messed that up by clicking stuff. That was me, not a bug. So far, one bug and me being an idiot. So let's get that. Let's place it here. And we'll have 
have to hire someone else, this guy. And I also want to place another dome, um, 600. That's my next goal. Get another dome room up so I can hire some security because those cops are kind of getting in the way. But at least I've got a backlog of things now. The ice cream van can just keep going and delivering its wares. This room's just about done, so I'll send him down there. And done. 680. Let's get that dorm room up. And it would appear you can only build rooms as an offshoot to another room um, horizontally. If it's vertical, it needs to be an empty room so it can place a ladder. So I'm going to start having to build rooms outwards. And it won't let us build further down this way. So I'm guessing the this version only allows like the two levels. It did say it only wanted us to play for about 10 minutes though. So I'll just try and basically get... I'll try and get one of those double rooms and see what happens. The dorm's just about... Yeah, it is done. So let's hire him. And he can stand guard on the door. And let's start building rooms out as well. You can, can you not stand upstairs? No? Okay, you can stand there then. You can protect the entrance. Um, so I've got that. I can hire two more guys. I think what I'm going to do is hire two more guys and then uh, to start getting rid of this backlog, I'm going to hire another ice cream truck. So that's a route. Let's add this as a route. Max that out. So now I should have two vans. He should just pick stuff up as well. Awesome. So let's start building rooms out when I get enough money. I'll build out a double room and I'll try and place this um, wrong button. I'll try and place this dope shop. Because uh, that's a uh, low quality smelly heroin and this is uh, medium quality hero heroin and it consumes less electricity. Um, I don't know if it'll take two workers or just one, um, but that's what we're going to figure out. Um, also, if there is any interest, I will keep doing videos on new versions of the game. Um, I don't know how regular the development's going to be, and obviously this all hinges on the... Oh, two police. On if half of us wanted to be shown at this stage. So, we're going to fight. Oh yeah, he can kick the hell out of them. He's broken. If I move... So this hasn't happened either. So that's another uh, second bug. If I move him here, I can heal him up. And then move you back. wait for that room to be completed. And then this one. Let's start building out here for the hell of it as well. I could also buy a bus. What's my map looking like? I could buy a bus and go here. And here's our second room. Let us see how much that costs. 1,200. So I just wait for that money to come in, which shouldn't take that long. And then I can hopefully start supplying all of these people with precious drugs. Elise. Bribery costs more as well now. Interesting. Heal you 
back up. I'm not sure if I just stole money off that police officer as well, but... So that's worked that time, obviously, because I picked the second uh, double room. So now we can hire this guy. Oh, this guy looks a bit more professional. Let's hire him as well. Are they, is that two people? Yeah, so we'll wait for that guy. And they can start working on this room. taking a bit of a while, but that's okay. What's this? Your dealer's under attack. Evade or fight. We'll see what fighting does. Oh, wow. This is cool. You can do that. Let's double team. Take out at least one of them. This is awesome. guy. Nope. Oh, this is cheating. So I had no idea that this was in the game. Um, so this was a pleasant surprise. Hopefully I can finish this guy off before any friends come along. Not quite sure what the little numbers that appear above here are for, but we'll see. Oh, so that's done. That was cool. I think I'll, I'll wait this one when complete, and then can I make them both go there? We'll see how fast that is. This guy's done, so he can go back. Oh wow, that is producing quite fast. Okay, I've looked at every room type, I've looked at the staff, and I've looked at the distribution methods. I think I'm going to call it a day here. It's a very early version of the game, as I've said many a time, but it is looks like it has a lot of potential, and I, for one, am looking forward to playing the next versions. Fingers crossed that I'm allowed to show this. Um, I'm thinking of just releasing it as an entire length video, no cuts. Um, I'll see what I'm like when I pop, uh, pop it in and edit it. But yes, give us some feedback to me that I can pass on or just to me for the video. Um, I can pass on any feedback to the developers as well. And I will report those bugs. But yes, thank you for watching. Um, let us know what you think. Constructive criticism is as always appreciated. And I will catch you next time.